bones are the shoulder, the most important ones. Um, the clavicle starts right here, um, just below the front of the neck, and runs along this area right through there. And you can see the outline of, of the clavicle here, also known as the collarbone. It attaches right here at the AC joint, and that's where essentially the acromion, which is this kind of flat part of the scapula, meets the clavicle. Acromion, clavicle, AC. AC joints right here. And then we have the humerus, the arm bone, that comes down this way. And then also there's a spot right in here. It's actually part of the, of the uh, clavicle as well. It's called the coracoid process. Um, and there are several muscles that attach there, so right in there. So from the posterior back side, we have the acromion, which is the, again the flat portion of the shoulder blade here. And then extending out towards the back is the spine of the scapula. And you can kind of see the outline of the spine of the scapula right through this area. And it comes around and then you can follow the shoulder blade, the pattern, the edge of the shoulder blade all the way down to the very tip here. And then it will work its way back up. So it's kind of this triangular shaped bone that runs this way in the back. The joint capsule has thickenings, um, which are considered ligaments, but they're, they run together with the joint capsule there. Um, the anterior glenohumeral ligament runs along the front of the shoulder. There's an inferior glenohumeral ligament that runs kind of down in the armpit, and then we'll talk about in the back the posterior glenohumeral ligament. These ligaments are the stabilizers of the shoulder, and that's generally what's injured when you have a shoulder dislocation. For the muscles of the shoulder, the four most important ones are the rotator cuff muscles. There's one little one that comes across the front called the subscapularis. It comes from the underside of the scapula. There's one that runs across the top, um, the supraspinatus. And then there's two in the back, the infraspinatus and the teres minor. And these muscles all, because they attach in a circular motion around the humerus, when they all contract together, they pull the humerus into the um, socket and the glenoid. You also have the pectoralis muscles that come from the chest and come over and attach on the humerus. Um, and you have the bicep muscle that runs down the front of the arm. And then the big uh, triangular muscle on the outside of the shoulder is the deltoid. And it attaches a little bit on the clavicle, along the acromion, and then in the back as well along the scapula. There's lots of muscles that come off of the um, border of the scapula here coming across and they attach on the spine. The rhomboids um, and the trapezius muscle and the trapezius muscle is really a large muscle. You can see it's this whole area up here as part of the trap. Um, the trap comes down here and it's here so this whole area here is the trapezius. Um, these muscles help keep the shoulder blade stable and if we have Patty squeeze her shoulder blades together you can see those muscles help pull that shoulder blade that way. Um, other muscles in the back are the two rotator cuff muscles, the infraspinatus and the teres minor. Um, and they run right back here, um, coming off of this side of the scapula, and they attach on the humerus. We also have the latissimus, which is a large muscle down in this area that comes up and attaches on the humerus. 